There's more to setting up your TV than just plugging it in and turning it on. It doesn't have to be complicated, but you do want to get the right accessories and make the right tweaks to enjoy your TV to its fullest potential. In this video, we're going to go through everything from HDMI cables to speakers, right through picture settings changes to enjoy your TV right away. First, where is your TV going to go? If you're wall mounting your TV, a cable and power management kit like this is a great way to make that install look clean. It helps you route your cables and power from near the floor up through the wall to where your TV is mounted. If you're setting your TV on a stand, we recommend securing it so it doesn't tip over by accident. There are a number of security straps available to help you do this. And if you don't already have one, we suggest getting a surge protector power strip. Not only do you get to plug all of your electronics into one place, but it will protect those expensive electronics in the case of a storm or brownout. Next, what are you hooking up to your TV? Do you already have a cable box, antenna, gaming console, Blu-ray, or Ultra HD Blu-ray player? What about a streaming box or stick? You'll want to gather up all the sources you plan on connecting to the TV and see what types of cables they require. We like to sketch out a little diagram to help visualize how everything is going to be hooked up. And this helps us take inventory of what kind of cables we have and which ones we'll need. Rule number one, use HDMI whenever possible. It provides both the highest quality picture and sound. For newer 4K Ultra HD sources like an Ultra HD Blu-ray player or a 4K streaming set-top box, make sure you have high-speed HDMI cables that can handle the 4K bandwidth. You'll usually see something about this on the packaging, the cable itself, or product description. It might also be worth getting new HDMI cables just to save space. These thin HDMI cables are much easier to route to components, and they minimize clutter. Don't spend too much on cables though. A six foot HDMI cable should go for about eight to 12 bucks. Anything more is overpriced and probably won't provide any performance benefit. Older components like a Nintendo Wii will use these analog RCA cables. If you want big sound to go with the big picture of your new TV, it's certainly worth considering adding something like a sound bar, a sound base, or even a home theater speaker system. No matter what you choose, you will upgrade the sound of your TV considerably. Movies will be more fun to watch, and dialogue will be much clearer and easier to hear. When connecting any of these, again, use HDMI if the speaker system will take it. If not, an optical cable like this will still deliver quality sound. Finally, once your TV is hooked up and powered on, you want to dig into the settings. There are a number of guides available to help you achieve the best picture quality, but these essential changes will help get you going right out of the gate. First, go into the part of the TV's menu which lets you choose the picture mode. The most accurate picture will come from the movie or cinema preset. Some even have separate options for bright and dark rooms. If you want the picture to be brighter, you can always adjust the backlight and brightness settings to taste. Vivid and sports mode are very bright out of the box, but the colors aren't very accurate and that intense picture can wear on you in time. You're better off going with the standard setting if you want the right balance between vividness and accuracy. Another key setting to adjust is motion smoothing. Different manufacturers call this setting different things, but we recommend you turn it off. If you don't, you'll see image processing that makes the shows and movies you watch look like a soap opera. This is the number one complaint of new TV buyers, and it's an easy fix. Keep in mind that some TVs force you to adjust settings for each and every input, while others might allow you to apply your settings to all inputs. Regardless, you'll find you're going to have to make these adjustments separately when you access streaming apps. I hope this video has helped you get prepared to set up your new TV and enjoy it right away. Remember, you want to plan ahead, make a list if you need to, and get everything gathered together ahead of time. Also, having a friend around is essential, especially when it comes to unboxing and either wall mounting or placing that new TV. As always, happy watching.